Wow. This is crazy. Oh my gosh. Midoriya found out. He heard everything. Let's get it, guys. My Hero Academia Season 7, Episode 3. Let's get into it. The last episode was so good, bro. R.I.P. to Star and Stripe. She made the ultimate sacrifice. But her strategy was like... It was clean. For her to destroy all of those quirks, once he absorbed new order... Beautiful. Now the time for his body to be complete has been delayed, giving the other heroes more time to figure out what they need to do and get stronger and be more prepared to take on Shigaraki and All for One. Toya can't stand Endeavor still. I feel like that was kind of easy to figure out though when they got revealed last season that Dobby was Toya, the deceased son, the presumed deceased son of Endeavor. Isn't that the search quirk that one of those, what was it? Was it the ragdolls? Isn't that one of their quirks? Episode 3, villain. Let's see what we're talking about. Classroom 1A, the training. Becoming stronger. Like I said, Star and Stripe gave them extra time. Ooh, combination attack. Ooh, Bakugo versus Deku, huh? Yo, did he just use all the sweat around him to blow him up? That's crazy. Bakugo has gotten stronger himself. Everyone's leveled up. Cluster, that's fire. Looks like Deku lost that session. That's a boring session. Shoto! I feel like they're hoeing my boy, bro. Shoto is personally my favorite character in the show, but I feel like he should be way stronger than where he's at right now. That quirk is OP, it's crazy. They're nerfing him, bro. He captured Gigantomoria. Can't find him, he's a master of getting away. Called him an old nutsack is crazy. Bro, imagine that. That was his incomplete body form. And he still did that much damage. That's literally what I was saying. That man knows exactly where Deku is. He's still thinking selfishly. You got people to support you now, bro. You don't got to take on this burden by yourself. Yeah, that speech was so emotional. That speech was so emotional, bro. 
Is that Invisigirl? Who is she spying on? Ayama. Don't tell me he was the one that told them that they were there. Don't tell me this this boy is a rat, bro. Yo, this man was working for the other side the whole time? Oh, he was quirkless like Deku. So how did he get his quirk? Did they go to all for one? Oh my gosh. They went to all for one. Of course this would happen, bro. Damn. They went to him to give Ioma a quirk and then they got trapped by him. He probably threatened them. And Deku just found out. He probably heard everything. Yup. Damn. He was a mole this whole time. How is he gonna feel about that? He's bawling his eyes out though. So they were probably forced to do it. He was in the background. Yeah, he was the only one being sad. Yeah, Deku figured it out easily. Easily knew that something was wrong. Damn, bro. He was the cause of all of that. That's crazy. And he has all these strategies and plans to get to the goal that he wants. So if they don't work out, oh well, I have other people that I'm blackmailing or using to get to my destination either way. And the parent, his parents was just trying to make him happy. Didn't even give him a good quirk. They did the best they could to make it work. Wow. He was telling him everything. You're gonna attack him now too? Bro, don't make it worse for yourself than it already is. Invisigirl blocked it. Okay, we get a little glimpse of what she looks like. Bro, are they gonna show us? 
Wow. That's what Invisigirl looks like. Yeah, Deku said, let's stop all of this right now. This must be painful, bro. Finding out that one of your friends snitched to the worst villain in the world that's trying to kill you. Bro, imagine if Deku's mom did what his parents did. And the whole class is there. I wonder if they resent him for this. He was just using them, bro. Probably threatened them. Yep, exactly. They had no other way. They had no choice. And he was just doing what his parents was telling him to. Damn. He did a bad thing, but he tried to make up for it. Yeah, the sniper from last season. Why did he say that? Was that to motivate him or to tell him to stop? That is the fact of the matter. This is rough, man. お父さん、我々が神の影響集をかけることをなぜ報告しなかった。ちらから連絡はできない。向こうが求めた時のみ、その時の連絡先が伝えられ、我はすぐに使えなくなる。捕まっても辿られる。To they're gonna trick him with Ayuma. Okay, smart. Probably gonna feed him false information. Next time, the story of how we all became heroes. Go beyond plus ultra. Let's get it. Fire episode, bro. Fire episode. Well, alright, guys, that's the end of episode three of My Hero Academia season seven. Another really good episode. I cannot believe Ayama was a mole this whole time, bro. He was giving all for one the whole play at USJ when they got attacked by Shigaraki the first time. At the training camp when Deku had to save the little kid. Then they kidnapped Bakugo. 
he was the one giving him that information the whole time and it's crazy bro because he was there being buddy buddy friendly with every everyone i know that must have hurt all of them but now they can use him they can use him to now trick all for one and take the advantage of this this war that they're about to to enter hella excited to find out what's gonna happen in the next episode in the episodes to come so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know i did do me a favor hit that like button hit that subscribe button comment down below what animes you guys think i should react to next follow me on my socials my instagram my tiktok will be linked down in the description below and i'll catch you in the next one guys peace